what is going on guys and welcome back so now here is one thing and that is if we want to create multiple posts with this elementor canvas then do we have to do this every time and we have to waste our time um no i would say no okay what you can do that you can save this whole section okay and then you can work with this let me show you how this is going to work okay so if you want to create a new post if i just come here and i want to click um post okay and then i'm going to be adding this post to be naming this post to be um iphone x has a new has a hidden feature okay and i'm just gonna come here i'm gonna go down and i'm gonna select the elementor canvas okay and then i have to select it to be iphone and i can also add some tags if i want to so i'm gonna add ios iphone apple and i'm gonna hit add now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit publish. So you can see this is published right here. And then here, if I want to add that, if I want to add this stuff here without wasting my time and creating this from scratch every time. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab this right here. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click add, sorry, um, the save section. So on saving this, you can see it says enter template name. So my template name is going to be um, blog, okay? And then dash, and then I can name it anywhere. So I'm, I'm just gonna add um, the header. So blog header, um, you can name it. And then what you have to do, you have to just hit save. So you can see it is right here, okay? And now what you have to do, you have to just come here again, and then you have to save this section as well. Okay, um, you have to just come here and then you have to hit save. So this is going to be um, blog CTA, which means call to action. Here is a call to action button that is going to take us down below. So you can add blog CTA and then we're going to name it as um, header. Okay, so it is blog CTA header. I'm just going to hit save and you can see that it will also be saved to this section right here. What I'm going to do right now, um, I'm just going to cl close this and then I'm going to hit save. So now here, what I have to do, I have to just come here. I need to assign a featured image. So let's just choose any of the image right here. So I think um, I'll just go with this one. This one is a small image. So um, this one. Okay. And then I'm going to hit save, set featured image, and then I'm going to hit update. So now what I have to do, I have to just hit edit with Elementor and it's going to take me to the Elementor page. So it will take us to the Elementor page and then let's see how we can edit this in just a minute. So you can see then without wasting my time, I'll just grab it from templates and then they will be right here. So you can do it with pretty well anything. So if you don't want to, if you are creating a custom footer without these Elementor or without these, uh, if you don't want to use the Ocean WP footer, you can create a custom footer and then you can assign that. So I'm just going to hit add a template. Okay. And then I'm going to go to my templates. I just first need the blog header. Okay. It's going to insert it. And then I'm going to hit add a template. I'm going to go to the my templates and then I'm going to hit blog CTA header. So I'm going to hit insert. Okay. This is right here. I'm just going to come here and I'm going to change the featured image. So I'm going to come here to the style right here. I'm going to change that image. So this image is going to be this one. I'm going to hit insert media. Okay. My end here should be my title. So I'm going to change iPhone X as a hidden feature. iPhone X has a hidden feature. Okay. It, it is iPhone 10. Okay. I'm sorry. I have to use the iPhone X. Okay. I'm just going to come here and I'm going to add a call to action. So I'm going to change the call to action to be um, reveal the feature okay so if, if someone clicks this he's gonna be taken down and here you can add your new section like if you want to add so I'm just gonna add a new section and I can add anything like here so I can also add a sidebar here you can just duplicate the column and then you can add it but I don't want to add sidebar so I'm just gonna add anything right here so I'm just gonna add um, the text editor where is the text editor text editor let's drag it and drop it right here so here you can edit 
I'm just going to come here. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it. So now here you can add a heading. So here you can also add a drop cap if you want to. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save. And you can see this is coming right here. Here I have to add one more thing. I'm just going to add it right here. I'm going to paste it and you can see this is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save. I also need to add the footer right here. So I can also just come here. I can go down and I can just come here. I'm just going to save it right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit blog dash footer. I'm going to hit save. And there we go. I'm going to come here and I'm going to hit save right here. And I have to just come here to add a template. And then I have to go to my templates. Okay, I basically need to refresh this so that it refreshes all the list. Okay. Um, let's wait. And then here we go. I go down and I have to hit add template. And then I have to go to my template. And then here it says plug dash footer. So I'm going to hit um, insert. And here we go. It is right here. And let's see. So we have, this is how it is looking. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save right now. And now here, let's view our this page. So I'm going to hit view page. And here we go. It will take us to the page. So you can see iPhone XS has a hidden feature in this image is also matching this. So I'm just going to hit this and you can see it will take me down. Okay. I have done one thing. I haven't assigned this as a ID. So I'm just going to come here and I want to click this and I want to go to the advanced section and I want to go to the CSS ID. So this ID is going to be assigned as down. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save right now. Okay. And I want to come here and I want to hit, um, just come here and I want to refresh this. So here we go. iPhone X has a hidden feature. I'm just going to click it and you can see it is taking me down. So this is the feature that is going to appear. So thanks a lot guys for watching this. Now we are totally done with the website. I hope you liked it. Okay. So you can see these all these posts are also added right now here. So thanks a lot guys for watching this. And in the next video, we will be freaking up with more website. I hope you like this website. Thanks a lot, guys, and goodbye.